All right, so let's let's see what we've got going on here. So it's basically just loading up Spinister with stuff, and Spinister gets two weapon slots. Um, hopefully, I guess that means the. I mean, there's still got to be weapons to load up the Battlemasters before they go and attack. Um, but yeah, you said, uh, what did you say? The Runner Bros? Yeah, let's take a peek. If these all go out. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Four wide. Run amok, run about, Nightbird, and Fangry. I dig it. Yep. Is you got your stream going stream going again? Uh yeah, we're recording. Excellent. Alright. Uh you got an eight, I got a four. What are you feeling? It feels Let's like you see. go first so you can punch Spinister, right? Or do you wait and hit him at the end when you can hit him as hard as you can? I have no idea what this deck does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the Spinister is bigger than Fangry, so if I've got a world of... I guess I can look at my deck over here for a general color feel. Okay, so it's lots of exciting random. I like these cards. Um, so I suspect I'm keeping Fangry back a bit. Oh, so I've got the Nightbird aspect of being able to play your cards, but I've no idea. You're going to have... Which will be a lot of random actions, we hope. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be flipping the runabouts a lot. So yeah, it feels like I probably flip run amok to his mode, send him in, which gives me an extra card, send him in to Spinister for the extra hit. Yeah, I'll go first. All right. So with that, we will flip Run Amok. Yes. Draw a card. Flip Run About. Hmm. Okay, like that. Don't even remember what that does. Okay. Um. And yeah, I. Th well, I get the bolt out of Fangry immediately into Spinister. I mean, that does mean you probably generally, kill Fangry. Yeah, but generally, like, you get one or two attacks with Fangry and you're happy. Well, the problem is, is I don't want you to kill Fangry right on the the wheel and therefore mm -hmm. force me to go into a... You're, you're hitting whoever you want. I want that second hit on Spinister. That's So fair. I want to hold Fangry off at the moment, which means I have to sacrifice. No. I either lose my card, card flipping or I'm sending Nightbird in now. You're all upgradey. Well... I have to assume you've got 25 actions, 25 upgrades, roughly. Probably leaning to the 30, given mm -hmm. the, the six, six gun probably wants those weapons, and maybe it's getting exciting about giving him some things and giving Spinister some weapons. Um, but when Rung is untapped, I don't get bold. That's interesting to be hit with. Oh, that's nice. When Rung is tapped, it turns off Nightbird's bounty. Yeah, I can't play. Oh, that's <laughs> horrid. Like, I just do her bounty up once a year. Um, there's a world in which I want Rung to die. That's true. Um, so you know, his other mode um, doesn't turn off Nightbird's bounty, and it gives me my bold on Fangry back again. Yep. I think Bunk Rung seems like a solid first choice. Yeah, I think actually going into him rather than Spinister seems... He's actually more painful in that mode than he is... Well, I don't know. I didn't read the other side much. <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll send Runamuck into Mr. Rung. Absolutely. I'm going in for six. No, nope. block and one. I undo those two. I only flip two, right? Oh, yeah. His Coming ability. Yep. So five PS1. All right, taken four. Counter espionage. I it, it's a card I keep sliding in at like number fifty in Primus, but with yeah. the way Primus works, it doesn't feel that great. Unless I'm really like, I guess, like showing it's... off is something I want to save it for at some point. Yeah, the secret actions. Knowing someone's, I get you, you're gonna know someone's action. Yeah, that's special, and you're gonna assume they want it in hand, and the greens you can get rid of. I All think right. it's not horrid. I think I go pocket processor on Spinister here. 
Um, and then I'm going to go fire drive where he's got to go. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. All right, fire drive swinging for four. Defending for three. Taking one. I like that. And I guess I keep forgetting that I can transform. Yeah. Um, oh, so you've got three more. So one, two, three. There you go. All right. I got options scoundrels or wedge. I think I will ditch combat dagger for. What is he? Yeah, he's specialist, ranged. I think that wedge does as much as I want. We'll take the scoundrels blaster for combat dagger. Ditch bold for some guaranteed. Mm hmm. Okay, draw for turn. Well, that's fun. Um, oh no, it's not fun. <laughs> when you have when you put Swindled in the deck, you put have Nightbird in the team. <laughs> yeah, that's less fun. Hopefully, it's not your signature. Yeah, fortunately, it's not my signature. <laughs> um, what have we got now? We've got Fire Drive, who we don't want to do much more than tickle. Yep. We will start by flipping. Which one is it? Flip Runabout. Yes. Let's repair flip. one from Runamuck. Yep. And I flip him. I'm even sitting and wondering, do I have the car cards in here? Am I start, <laughs> do I start your engines? <laughs> Hopefully start your engines is in there somewhere. It would have been clever. I'm not sure how much thought went into this deck. It, it feels like... three cars. It feels like Primus Cars really lends itself to auto picks for start your engines and yeah. turbo boosters. That would have been a much better plan than what I have. Um, <laughs> it would have even fit in quite... It wouldn't have hurt. Okay. In fact, you know, Nightbird starts becoming... I, oh, Nightbird is partly here because in Primus, that do one damage to opponent action thing Yeah, is annoying three players and not just one. Yeah. Um, and I've got three players to pick from if I actually do want to go KO one of their people and play, play an action from them. Yes. So it felt like Nightbird had more legs than, than usual. Um, so let's see. So I've got Runabout in five mode. Not really looking for that yet. So I think we're probably sending Nightbird out. Yeah. I think we will play that and try to remember what it is. Uh, where's my peak? Peak. And then we'll just send Nightbird into Fire Drive. All right. Two cards. Attacking for five. I'm blocking for one, taking four. All right, draw for turn. Draw for pocket processor. Whew. Feels... You know what? It feels all right. Let's um, well, Camion crash. I got a okay. ping uh, guy. I'll ping fire drive, and then for Camion, I'll ping fire drive. Um, and let's put two damage on Runamuck. Okay. What was the first ping from Nightbird? Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Already uh, forgotten the thing I talked about. Then I still have an upgrade to play. Let's put a pocket processor on six gun. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I swing six gun into run amok here. I will mm -hmm. pitch uh, a Soldier's Blaster to give him a whole plus one. Yep. Uh, but we gotta try and kill if we can, and we're not gonna get there. Whole so five damage. Two. Okay. So you're you're coming in for five, so I take three. Yep. Um, okay. And I guess Soldier's Blaster doesn't do me a whole ton of good. I gotta keep... Uh, yeah, I'm not picking anything up. I will definitely take the enforcement batons. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> that card screams. All right, Kidok. your turn. I will draw. Oh, hey. Okay, I lied. I just couldn't see it on my list. Um, so at least I've got that. So we start by switching Ranamuk, draw a card, 
Yep. Which one about? And what I have as options, I could do that. Doesn't do a lot. And you're coming in with Rung next, who's more of a tickler, depending on what's in your hand. Mm -hmm. Unless you do Spinister. And I mean, odds are you don't kill Spinister and Six Gun this turn. You might kill Six Gun this turn, but I am going to be drawing three. Unless you I'll... kill. I am going to Turbo Boost a Nightbird. Yes. I'm going to energy transfer Nightbird. Okay. Ooh, how many do we want on Nightbird? So we can take a lot off of Run Amok. You can take up to... You can I take, take all a late. Yeah. yeah. But I actually don't quite want you to easily kill her with Run. And Run Amok's going to heal when I flip. So I think I'll drop. I'll take seven off. Okay. Um, let's make it just six. We're going to do that. Just to leave it within the bit where you have to now do some work. Yeah. And then I will send, let's see, Fire Drive. There's a world in which she can take Fire Drive out. Your lad can hold two weapons. Or I can put, what, three damage on six gun, maybe? Um... Slowly work it up. We'll go into six gun. Okay. For f six. Six gun is range, so I, ooh, I can pick stuff up. Um, six, I'm blocking two, taking four. Go. I guess you first. I assume you're picking up that Scoundrel's Blaster. Don't know. Um... No, I think I'll let it go. Okay, um, I am. I'm really torn here. I, I I'm gonna pick up one of these two, mm -hmm. um, and I think what I'm dropping is the escape route. I think I pick up the Noble's Blaster because it'll be a little more consistent. Mm -hmm. And you can always sacrifice it for six gun if you had other choices. Yep. Yeah, the Paralyzer box doesn't do that. All right, my turn, draw for turn. Draw for pocket processor. Okay. So, is there a world in which we can just kill Run Amok <laughs> right now? Uh, would be super awesome. Yeah, 13 attack, depending on... And then, it's only flipping two, right? So you're trying to hit 13. Yeah. And assume we both get the same when we flip our two cards. Yeah, 13 is a large target to hit. The other option is going after Nightbird, and I feel much more confident that I can hit 6-ish. Mm. Let's see here. Um, Noble's Blaster on Rung. Okay, he's a 6. And he... Or do I do... Hold on. Do I do something else instead? Nah, I don't think I need it. Switch modes. Switch modes on Spinister first. Mm -hmm. uh, so now he's seven. Then Noble's Blaster on Rung puts him at nine. Should be pretty comfortable. And then I can Blade Flurry to put him at 13. And I think I can get there. You guys run amok, I assume. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is way overcome. I mean, free no, the no, well, that's, Yeah, uh, before I was like, oh, I like, but then yeah. I was like, well, I want the attack with Spinister anyway. Like, I want him flipped anyway. So if I get the plus three, so I believe I'm at 13 base. Uh, You're going to get me by, I'm going to regret that one extra that I put back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's happening. Okay. Uh, so four plus two is six plus three is nine plus four yep. um, is 13 and we're going into run amok here blue and a blue okay i'll take that i need Pierce a blue three there's my blue oh live by one <laughs> all right 
Pew. You live by one, which means you'll heal for another one, and I gotta like sturdy javelin you or something to kill you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it for nice. my turn. Okay. What do we have? What do you do? I haven't seen that in a while. Um, do you... So we will start by escape routing runabout. Switch Ooh, nice. mode on him to heal yep. run amok. Yep. Switch mode. Um, flip run amok to get the draw. Got to flip him back again for the draw. Yep. Here we go. And then I've got... Well, it lost me an attack, but... I think I... Grenade launcher runabout. Ooh, yeah. I don't think I get it, though. But For I guess the same same as where you were, though. Oh, no, I'm going after Rung. Oh, I think... Well, you're at eight. You're, yeah, we're, we're and perfect. you've got seven health. Yeah. I, I hit you for eight, so yeah. We're basically back to that same dice roll. Yeah. So we'll Come send on, him blues. in. Oh, um, let's see. Nightbird, you take a damage from Blade Flow. Oh, yes. Uh, one other than Fire right. Drive. Yep. Okay. Need an orange. That's a blue. Need an orange. That's an orange. Okay. Two blues. So I got a nine coming in. Oh, there's a white. There's a blue. One no, blue. You stop. Oh, you're right. Each it's just card. two. Wrong. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm only blocking two. You're dealing what seven nine. to me? Nine total. Yeah, yep. seven. So I die. Yeah. Phew. Just what I needed. Uh oh! I did not mean to untap. <laughs> I guess I meant to untap him. Mm. Switch modes. Okay. Um, cerebral scanner. I think that's got to go on Spinister. He knows what to do with it. These go away. Oh, nice! You're gonna get a big hit here. <sighs> that's the idea. Um. All right. So we both draw a card when I when I attack with it, and then uh, uh -huh. he gets uh, plus attack equal to the number of cards in your hand until the end of battle, up to four. Okay, um, so he's running a plus four there. Draw for turn, draw for my two pocket processors. <laughs> nice. Um, my boys are ranged. The good news is with the card draw, I do have a sturdy javelin, so I can take care of run amok and mm, attack someone nice. else. Um, I still have an action. I haven't transformed. Uh, does that matter? It might. I, I mean, I'm I'm swinging for like what nine here. I don't think I don't think Nightbird lives through that. Yeah, when you flip, you get seven. Assuming you flip, you're on seven, eight, twelve. I don't know if I flip. I think I don't worry about it because I flip. I'll flip on my next turn if mm -hmm. Fire Drive lives. Odds are he doesn't. I don't know. Maybe you go after Six Gun instead. But I think I don't flip here. Um. And yeah, nothing else. I, I guess I'm going to treasure hunt just to, like, use the action. <laughs> okay. So you take a damage on someone? Yep. Uh, I'll put it on six gun this time. I don't want, like, fire drive in, like, non-combat damage killable position. Mm. Uh, uh, the belligerence goes back on top. Belligerence goes... Oh, you're right. It's four. Those get scrapped. Fusion board goes in my hand. I already played my upgrade. I played my action. Um, not flipping here, and I'll go into Nightbird chucking the javelin at Runamuck. And then we both draw a card. Okay. And I am swinging for four plus another five, nine. Yep. Uh, wrong's off the table, so I do get the value of the white pips. It's all blues, baby. All orange is here, so absolutely dead. <laughs> Got a bashing shield. 
but we're not seeing anything unless you know anyone's hiding being in armor. <laughs> and given my hand, I don't see myself using that anytime soon. But let that go. Hmm. This is where I want that swindle to actually work. Got that. I don't want to hit him with that though. I think we will power punch on Fangui. Yes. <laughs> this hurts, but I. Well. Yeah, with equipment enthusiasts to draw one. Oh, yeah, that does. <laughs> that hurts. But it's, it's just. I don't think it's going to get played in in two more turns, so yeah, yeah, well that's fair. Yep. Um, oh, but I am missing that I can flip runabout. That only repairs him though, so that's kind of pointless. Yeah. Um, Does he have like another defense on that side or anything? No, he gets another attack on that side, but I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm going to flip Fangry anytime soon to try yeah. and get tough on him. So we're going to send Fangry into Spinister. Yeah. So he's got bold two because you're bigger. Yeah. Another bold three. So we're going to flip with bold five. Nice. I am blocking four. Oh, that's a. Oh, yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> uh, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, PS, one, two, three, four. Eleven PS, four. All right. I'm taking seven of that. That, that yeah. That hurts. I've been saving it up, so <laughs> <That'd be something laughs> All right, so now the question is, can I... Um, I guess odds are you're not killing me out of combat, so I feel I, I'll draw one for turn, two more for pocket processor. Um, feels like the... In, well, you still have cards in your hand. I was going to say, feels like the inverse of uh, the last game. Um, I, I still got... Crab? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 I, I didn't mean in terms of like. I, I think you're still in it, just in terms of yeah. hand size. Now I've got cards. Yes, yes, you do. Wow. Um, I think I put the fusion bore on fire drive for sure. Mm -hmm. And what? Um, so who am I attacking into here? Run him out just feels like a body, and he can't really hide Fangry from me now. Mm -hmm. Um, is there anything else I want to play at this moment? Uh, why not? I'll play hit and run. I didn't know if this card was actually <laughs> going to come in it uh, That's in, not bad. in hand, but yeah. And Fangry is in alt mode here. Yep. Uh, switch modes and move one over uh and then he gives a plus three to fire drive who's now kind of scary yeah nine pierce three nine pierce three fire drive going into fangry drawing a card can i fit more cards in hand there we go um yeah nine pierce three and a fangry 10 pierce four Defense for two moves to nine. That changed things a wee bit. This one's fun to pilot. I uh, shout out. I don't know what we recorded and what we didn't, but I know earlier we were talking about this was a deck that someone submitted in the Alpha Trine Protocols Facebook group for feedback, and I was like, "Oh, that seems like a really fun idea." Uh, so I, I grabbed it off Teletran and we're playing a game in Octagon with it. And this is, this is fun. I, I mean, obviously like I'm not, you're not playing the most competitive deck in the world right now, but, um, when this has the opportunity to do what it wants to do, it's pretty awesome. The, probably the two pocket processors also help. The, yeah. I think having pocket processors as a signature is probably like, if you don't have a thing, three pockets are not going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. So I'm not out of it yet. But I got still got something up my sleeve, um, which I think I can reveal. So we're going to all-out attack you. Oh, yeah. Not a card we see too often. 
No, but um, I get it. Like, yeah, you kill Fire Drive and then hopefully you kill Spinister. That's the aim. The question is, and we're definitely going to flip Runabout because we want that extra damage. Yep. The thinking is Runabout can go into Fire Drive and kill him. Yes. That feels doable. And I'd probably I put Fire angry. Drive on six gun to at least not lose both off of Spinister if he dies. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got to kind of... And with that with that hand size, you're probably one-shotting Runabout. Well, actually, that's inter- yeah. If I can take Spinister out on this double hit, you've got an enormous shot in six gun, but you kind of want to tickle Fangry and force me. So yeah, I, yeah you kind of have to Fangry, hold on to Fangry's Fangry is the bigger hit, I think. Yeah. So I need Runabout to kill Fardrive. I think he does that naturally. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's, he's swinging five. Mess around. I'm I'm not like super blue. Yeah. So we're pretty sure Runabout's got that. Then the question is, how do we get Fangry big enough? I well, think Fangry's already swinging bold two, right? He's got the bold two. I think I have to go enforcement batons now, Ooh. because to get rid of that that plus one defense you've got, Fair. and it removes it from your hand. It gets him off him anyway. Um, in case I, I whiff and yeah. don't quite get this. Yes. Um, so that plus one, I could have put a plus two on him, but it doesn't add up. So we played our action. Played our upgrade. We'll start with Runabout into Fire Drive. Yes. Need him to get his hit here. Uh, and start. the no pip will definitely help you out. <laughs> I think I'm pretty safe at this point. Yeah, I'm yep. only blocking one, and you're swinging, what, seven? Seven PS1, yep. So he goes. Hey! All right, and yeah, I think I. It feels awful because six gun also doesn't have a ton of health left. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. The problem on six gun though is that, like, it's tempting to go for six gun, but then I'm loading spinister up with six gun pieces, which yes. isn't awesome. So I think Fangry into spinisters where it's at, and I've All got right. bold two going on here. Don't want blues to show up though. Oh, uh, white. Um, and I got two, two more. For the white. Get to reshuffle. No double Four, pips. Five, six, seven. So coming in for seven, which is not going to be enough. No, I live by if one at least. <laughs> it blues up. Yep. Yeah, live by three. Go to nine. Go to ten. And that's a feature that's vanished in Octagon. Is you used to say option card list and see what was in your deck without knowing the order of it. Yeah, and so you can tell. But now that that feature's grayed out, and I don't know if that's because you have to pay for it now, or what the deal is, or if it's something missing in the the game logic. Yeah, it does feel like I don't know when the last time this was updated, but it does feel like some stuff was removed or or yeah. broken. Okay, uh, no, you don't untap. Oh, six guns <laughs> over there. Yeah, sorry. All out attack. <laughs> now it's your turn to all out attack. Yeah, now I get to all out attack. Um, okay. So let's see. I flip Spinister, and he's going to die. Um, I think or Spinister's got to go into Fangry, and Spinister probably kills Fangry, because Fangry's only yeah. got, what, four health left? you got to hit the six. Um, I guess i got to do my card draws. One, two, <laughs> three. Okay. So you might need to give Spinister a weapon. But yeah, I might that. need to give Spinister a but weapon. But you're not giving here. it a six gun. Um. Uh, is there i'm trying to think you know it'd be hot if i had that um oh it's end of turn okay i'll show this because it doesn't matter <laughs> i was thinking about last stand and i was like oh i'll boost six gun and then kill yeah, him and, and give him to, 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 yeah <laughs> I, uh, I, I like that that gives crab a shot at, at the title yeah um okay <sighs> so so what do we what do we do here? I I guess I attack Spinister into Fangry to force out Kreb. And then I go six gun on a cleanup, maybe? Is that the move? You might win this still. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I got... Okay, I've got too many cards to know what I'm doing here. Um, oh, that seems super good. Who do I try and protect with it, though? 
Spinister feels like he's a dying man. So we'll put... Oh, no. I have to put an upgrade on. I have to put a weapon on him if I can. I may not have a weapon to play, though. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't have a weapon to play. That's he got. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, I guess the deck's probably a little light on weapons, right? For for since yeah. it's playing like four it weapon characters. A bit. Yeah. Um. What do I do instead? Oh wait, maybe that helps me. Yeah, I guess I play belligerence, and that's better than a weapon on mm -hmm. Spinister. Yeah. And then I play, um, how many stars are, you're nine stars, oh, six gun. What would give me more value? I think the guardian shell gives me the most value here. It's an armor, but I do get to repair one. And then uh, draw a card. Oh. Well, there was my weapon. That's okay. Um, that's all my stuff. I could flip Spinister. Do I have more defense in this mode? No. Yeah, you just lose an attack. Uh, so we'll go... Okay, so the order... Six gun goes first. I think, and I'm attacking seven base here. Yeah. Now, uh, when this attacks, I may scrap a weapon from my hand that has plus attack. I do have a fusion bore in it now. If I scrap the fusion bore, does it count for both of their abilities? No. You gotta no. you gotta pick pick a okay. an, uh, ability so, to go down. So I scrap fusion bore for six guns ability. Right. So he's now ten. He's ten into ten. runabout. Yes, because you didn't flip Spinister, so he's currently a ten going in. You're twenty. Well, to and he's not a he's not a battle master. He's a weaponizer, so that wouldn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That does work. I, I did. I did think about that earlier. I was like, <laughs> oh, it would have been nice if it was both types. Um, so I am ten, and then with the duo charge electrostatic photon cannon, um, I want to scrap. So you're 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 at perfect health. So I need fifteen to kill you with good blue flips. Let's say um, I'm at ten. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, um, 15, 16. I don't have that, and I don't need that. 17. 17 base attack to make sure I kill Runabout, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, reality is, I think, unless, that, unless you've got a card in hand that's useful right now, all you care about is killing Runabout. Yeah. Um... And I don't think... Yeah, I mean, the Bashing Shield, I don't care about. Um, the Absorption Core could matter, but probably doesn't. That one goes away. Uh, and I don't care about transforming. Okay, 20 <laughs> attack into Runabout here. With Belligerence, yep. So it doesn't matter what I flip, I'm dead. Yep. Now... I thought I was confused why you. S I thought you were suggesting you're going to hit Fangry first, and I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that, that gives me a chance. I could be in this. I think your fusion ball is scrapped at this point. It's not yeah. actually equipped. It uh. No, I mean oh, everything, okay. is scrapped. everything is scrapped. All all and of these are cut. scrapped. Yeah. Yeah. And all of them. Flips yep. are not. Yep. Okay. Now we go in here, and we hope we get lucky. You're coming in for four. Just five. Just which is three damage, so I think I live. Doesn't matter what I flip. So, I defend for two, you attack for five? Yes. Take three. And survive, barely. And then we untap. Oh my gosh. Um. Well, that might have... Not putting the weapon on Spinister may have hurt you. Yeah, well, I didn't have a weapon to play. I didn't. I didn't get fusion yeah. bore in hand until I played the guardian like the shell. Yeah. We um, had, oh yeah. So yes, yeah, so the fusion bore came up then. I guess. Yeah. Ouch. I, I guess I dropped the absorption core for the counter espionage just in case it matters. Because yeah. All right, your turn. Okay, that's not helping. 
who I guess who do you target at this point? Because Kreb probably kill can kill Spinister much easier than he can kill Six Shot. But I don't well, have the cards in hand. The static the the Six Shot's weapon doesn't. I think I have to gamble that you don't have a damage card. Um, like I'm coming in to shoot someone. Mm -hmm. I've got to hang on to some stuff. I can't get rid of that armor because it will just heal you. It, it's it's pointless. Um, oh, you know what? I totally read that armor wrong. I should. I healed myself when I equipped it. Oh, fair. Okay. That's nice to see. I'm That's very 10. nice to see. Yeah. Um, I think that changes things then. So I'm still coming in with bold against six gun. Yeah. You've got. Oh, and you just ditched your hand. Yeah. So the like, I mean, six gun's still swinging seven. Um, but I didn't, I didn't have any direct damage that I scrapped. So hopefully there's some, uh, in the deck to draw. I don't know. I think I start with a scoundrel's blaster for the baton. Yes. To beef him up a touch. So he's a six coming in now. You defend for one. I've got to hit you for five and I've got bold two. So I'm feeling pretty decent there. I know if I fail to kill six gun. I'm dead. Um, I just don't have enough to you know, for Kreb to survive a hit. No one has enough for Kreb to survive a hit. I'm also in trouble if you have any kind of do a damage card on you. So I have to just assume you don't, because then you, you can saw just me kill pick up the counter espionage. It really comes down to what my draw and pocket processor will get me. Yeah, you, I played a Camion Crash earlier in the game, so you know I have that somewhere in the deck, but it's not my signature action. So I think I've got to go with ramming speed to kill your pocket on Spinister. Okay. To remove that. And then we'll send our Fangry Sacrifice into six gun. Yes. To bold. A one and two. That's I'm happy with that. Less happy. Still happy. Very hey. happy. I'm that yes, all the blues are kept out of the way. And I don't uh no bl oh, and there's the Camion Crash. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay. Good to know that's not around. Uh, so that is a KO'd uh, six gun, which means that I get to play both of these two. Yep. Um, okay, let me make sure if this they start assembly. Yep, Pierce 4. Play this. Uh, this can be in an armor or utility slot. Gotcha. Um, I guess let me do this just in case I can find a Sturdy No, Sturdy Javelin doesn't help me out anyway. Um all right. Okay. And then I've got a bashing shield, which I guess is more valuable than the turbo boosters. Mm -hmm. So we'll ditch the, that for that. And then your turn. And that's KO'd also. All right. Off the top of the deck. <laughs> What's it going to be? No, it's a Noble's Blaster. I think... Oh, man. I think that's game. I guess I, guess I could get... What? Let me think. Um... What could I possibly do here? Those are both of my actions. Um, so I'm going to kill you for sure, but then mm -hmm. Kreb's going to pop out, and how do I survive a Kreb hit? Um, let me. I'm going to counter espionage something. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I apparently can just look at your deck. Oh, it notifies you. Yeah. Does it actually let you see it? Normally you just get to see a lot of face down cards. It it was opening up to show me all the cards before I oh, closed wow. it. That another octagon curiosity there. Okay. Definitely you didn't use it to do that. You'd, it would tell you you're looking at the person's deck. Yeah, but it but should all you see was the blank cards. Yep, yeah. <sighs> okay. You don't really do direct damage either, do you? I guess as far as I know, yeah. Magray Magray's not your signature. And belligerence is in your scrap as well. Um, is Kreb ranged? I don't know. Let's have a peek at Kreb because I don't know what he does. He hits for two in his melee. Okay. And has two health. Um, I don't know what I'd call. I guess I'd call. I'd counter espionage and say Camion Crash. Okay. Yeah. I got a disruption, bashing shield, piercing blaster, and HP electron breacher. Oh no! I mean, I guess that's game. The piercing blaster kills me. If I flip an orange. If you flip <laughs> an orange. Okay. All right. Then we'll we'll play it out. <laughs> we'll go in. Oop. 
that's not right. And the bit that could have messed the piercing blaster up was if you'd put the launcher on as an armor and removed your armor and healed by one. Oh, that would have been smart. But yeah, that would have, I mean, that, that's worrying about me hitting you for, for pierce damage, which I only thought about because I'm staring at this piercing blaster going, piercing blaster can win a game. No, that's what, that's what yeah, that's what a good player would have done. <laughs> um, so I am swinging... Well, when I get to 22. <laughs> I moved a bunch of damage over to you by accident. Um, okay. You were at 12, and I think yep. my Pierce you 1 PS kills one. you. Yeah. Ignoring the enormous hit you've got there. Okay, so all that goes. He flips. Yeah, no, that would have been... This would have been a much smarter move. Oh. And might have... We'll see if it would have won me the game. Um, I almost asked if you was going to bash your shield off that thing, but no, I won't. <laughs> uh, you be piercing blaster, but I opportune offensive him. My my favorite. And oh I nice, would, yeah. So there's the pier it would have I mattered. wouldn't have got an orange, so it would have been two PS3. Oh, it would have mattered. It. Okay. With that top yeah. deck. Well wow. um, I took earlier. Crab, don't forget Crab, he's in it. Yeah. No, that's good. That's good. Oh, that was well done. That was a good game. <laughs> yeah. That was, I mean, it, one, it felt really close to, yeah. So, so had I scrapped this here, then I would have healed myself for one. And then you, at this point, you have, f oh, well, you still have five. I, I mean, if I hadn't have drawn this, then if I'd have got one orange, yeah, it would have been a three PS3 hit and you'd have, you'd have survived through that. Yeah. But yeah, opportune offensive, which, is that my signature? Uh, where are we? Yeah, opportune offensive is my signature because when I made this, I might have been a little too mercenaries and opportune offensive happy. I mean, it's just a good card. I don't think you're like you're not going wrong by making it your signature. Black blue yeah. plus three plus three feels real solid. I mean, yeah, like three guaranteed damage is just nice at any point. Yeah. Oh, this was a lot of fun. This it was good to like play around with some stuff. I feel like. This idea, again, shout out to um, the, the player. I should look up the name. I think I looked when, they, when I saw this posted, and it's really annoying that you can't get the weaponizer strat in here. That you've got six gun. Yeah. Shanice Emery. Yeah, I was right. Shanice Emery. Um, shout out to them. Uh, it felt really solid. It felt better than the one I was playing just <laughs> a little while ago. Um, it also didn't feel like insane like Menasaur did a week ago. Mm -hmm. um, I think for the one day event, I still want to play around with Menasaur more. I just I love Menasaur, and it's so exciting that he just rocks houses now. But this is <laughs> one I want to play around with more, and it it is. I guess it's perfectly twenty five or thirty five stars, isn't it? Um, is crosshairs more than spinister, or is there a side world where you bring crosshairs in as the alternative? What does um, crosshairs do? It's all about armor from memory. Where are we? Sergeant crosshairs. He oh, he's ten. Okay, he's an extra star, so you'd have to. Uh, I guess. It, but maybe if, there's there's. I mean, there are other battle masters. Like yes, fire drive and rung are feel like the strongest, but maybe um, in a world where. Um, I guess teaser for future stuff. We are working on new battle masters that'll be maybe a little on the less expensive side, and this could be updated if it had like room for the the weaponizer stratagem and um, crosshairs as a sideboard option. That would be awesome. Yeah, I think spinners and crosshairs definitely want something just a wee bit tinier. Yeah. But we'll stop. Rung, Rung was good here. Though. Like oh, go Rung definitely. I mean, it, it held Fangry off a little bit. I had to really work on Rung to get Fangry open. And um, it feels like in this particular matchup, Rung was like just as much of a threat of what you were trying to do than like Spinister killing your guys. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, he definitely messed with me more. I think that all-out attack was like. It, I definitely had two two big plays, I think. The all-out attack play, yes, giving me the ability to put some damage on Spinister and stop you hiding him. Yeah. Um, and then that, you know, that, the top deck at the end. Yeah. To get that was, win. But it was a lot of fun. All right. Thanks for the games. We're going to stop the You're recording welcome. now, and we'll catch everyone uh, on the next one.